What needs to change to support the future of farming is an entire systems change. So we're not talking actually about change, we're talking about the transformation of the current food system. And I think people are increasingly becoming aware of how broken systems are, even in education and in healthcare and certainly in food production. And what I'm most inspired about is seeing these producers that really are taking that system on and looking at how do I go around what is currently a boundary to really creating um, nutri nutrient dense systems and food and Prof, you know, systems that are truly profitable as well. So for many producers, you literally are trapped on a treadmill. Like it, it, it is that experience of you're putting this kind of input in and, and then this input means you need the, this kind of fungicide, you need this pesticide, and now you need this nitrogen. And really the first step is asking the question of why, of why is it that I need these particular inputs? And then looking at how do we substitute and pull some of these inputs out with a with a longer term focus in terms of how do I build soil health because anyone right now in the world that's producing food who's not asking the question of how do I build resilient food systems with a, a climate that's just so variable, you're not going to be farming in the future. And so asking these questions right now, building soil health right now, taking those first steps in, do I really need 100 kilos of nitrogen when actually if I feed microbiology I could get away with 20, 20 kilos for instance. And so just taking some of these small steps, even trialing stuff just to get started, working with a trusted mentor, finding someone that's further along the track and just going, okay, what's something that I can very simply start to uh, adapt and work into my system? So in my book I have quite a few examples of how people can do this. Um, and just take some of that risk and that fear about what are, what are some simple steps I can do to build soil health. I work with some incredible ranches where literally in a 10 kilometer radius, 50% of that area is now being managed regeneratively. So when people say to me, this is slow or it's not happening or, um, you know, the mainstream aren't interested in it, I just call BS on that. I'm like, get interested in what's happening around the world because change is happening and happening really fast. And if you feel that like dread and depression and overwhelm about what's happening in the world, we've got to step out of that because that's not empowering and it's not going to help you really take some different steps. So go and meet some people that are really lit up, feeling really creative and inspired about agriculture again because this is the most exciting thing since the tractor.